Welcome back to Geek School guys. Today we're doing a video on no sound the TV to HDMI version 3. I made a essential version uh, about two years ago and it literally got too many hits so I made another version and people are still having issues and still trying to can can figure out some specific things. So I'm trying I'm gonna be so much specified in this video that you should be able to check should be checking all these things and and um these are the key points you will need to check to make sure that your TV, your HDMI, and your laptop is going to work. And you will, you will be able to get the sound out of that. Okay, <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's get started. So right now I'm running Windows 8.1. Uh, as you guys can see, this is Windows 8.1. I can go to the system and make sure that here. Um, it should show me here it is windows 8.1 pro so this is windows 8 8.1 machine okay now if you are xp users i have no hope for you okay um august 2014 xp support has ended so please upgrade to windows 7 or windows 8 uh, obviously if you need to if you need to know how to upgrade to those uh, uh, OS's or how to clean and install I have a specifically made a video on our channel so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out <clears throat> okay now come into Windows 7 um, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 user this should be this should help you out so first thing we're gonna go first thing we're gonna go to is we're gonna go to control panel Okay, now some of you say my control panel doesn't look anything close to this, uh, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the category. I don't like this view, so I'm gonna change it to large icons uh, so that we can see it better. Okay, so first thing we're gonna make sure your HDMI cable, that your HDMI cable is good. Now, this is, this is not, I'm not criticizing anybody, but if you bought an HDMI cable from eBay, it, it only lasts for about, my experience is it only lasts about for six months and it goes bad. I don't know for what reason, but it doesn't work for after six months. That's my personal experience. Uh, another thing I'm <clears throat> gonna have you make sure that you have the right drivers installed from the manufacturer. Now somebody's gonna ask, how do I do that? So to do that, we're gonna go to the device manager, okay? so. Once we come to control panel, you guys would see an option called device manager here. This should be same for Windows 7, um, Windows 8, and 8.1. It is in the control panel. Windows XP it is a little different, but if you still want to try it, it's okay. Um, but we're going to click on, go ahead and click on device manager. <clears throat> and we're, we're going to specifically look at sound card, okay? So in my case, audio and input. So right here, I have... Uh, uh, it looks like I have all the drivers installed now in my uh, there is one right there audio inputs and output and there's a sound and video game controllers now make sure you do not have a uh, red X uh, not red yellow explanation mark right next to them if you do right click on it and go to the properties or just click on update driver and software and search uh, in, on in the internet automatically now if you find the new driver go ahead and install it uh, <clears throat> another thing if you are running Nvidia video card or uh, or some other kind of third-party video card then go to manufacturers website and download the latest drivers and install those drivers um, okay so uh, now, in my case, it says you have the best software that is up to date and it is installed on your machine. And now, I do not have any yellow explanation mark, but if I do, it would look like something like this, okay? Something like this. So if you have something like this, just uh, you need to know that there, there's a driver's problem with your sound card or some something along those lines. Now, the third thing we're gonna check is your Windows update. This is the most important key, uh, key point that most most of the NVIDIA or, or uh, all the other software vendors do push out updates from Windows Update. So what we're gonna do is go down here and look for Windows Update. Now, another thing, your Windows Update should be uh, fully up to date. So so if you, know, if you don't know how to install updates, just check for updates and if it finds anything, install update now another key point is do not install optional up updates for example bing bar do not install that if you see anything that's related to sound or or your display drivers go ahead and install it in my case it looks like it checked today and i'm up to date now coming to the main point um so again i'm gonna go back to the control panel I'll accidentally close it if you haven't closed it don't close it uh, and now we're gonna go to the sound tab um 
So now we're going go back going back to the sound tab. Now, one important thing: make sure that you have a good HDMI cable. Okay. Now I'm gonna plug my HDMI cable in, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty cool. So right here, uh, if you right click on uh, if you right click in this area and click on Show Disabled Devices, it should show show something. Okay. In my case, it's showing communication headphones or. Uh, and I'm gonna also click on show disconnected devices. Now it is showing this HDMI TV because I did have it plugged in before, and for some reason I, I accidentally unplugged it. So first thing I gotta make sure that my speakers on my laptop work. So I'm gonna click, go ahead and click test, and you guys will hear a sound. Okay. So this is sound from my laptop. Now as soon as I plug in my HDMI cable for my TV. Um, here's what's gonna happen. Now this this would go green, okay? Now according to my preferences, this is my default device. As soon as this cable is plugged in, my sound changes to digital audio. So if it's brown out, okay? But if you have this disabled, both of these, then it's gonna basically not gonna show up. And if your HDMI cord is not working properly, then you will not be able to figure that out. Like in my case, if I have both of these plugged in and if I plug in my HDMI cord, and if you don't see that thing, turn sorry about that guys, uh, I lost uh, an audio on there. So basically what I'm saying that if you, if you basically have this showing up and if you plug in your cable, then you will be able to know that if your HDMI cord is bad, or if you, if your uh, if your output from your laptop is bad, or or your TV, you know, it, it could be anything. But but this basically covers everything, guys. Uh, make sure you check out uh, other videos like how to install Windows 10 and. Um, Windows 8.1, Windows 7. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be trying something new here in in few days, so make sure you guys check out the channel again. And if this video has helped you guys, please hit that like and subscribe. And this also helps me out a little bit. Um, and I I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. And thanks for watching again, guys. And I'm gonna sign out here. Thank you.